with Nico Santos. Give it up! Yes! <laughs> For the past year, essential workers have been our lifesavers, both literally and figuratively. They've kept us fed, delivered our packages, given us medical care. Uh, my next guest has been honoring these heroes by painting portraits of them at work. So everybody say hello to John Deckard! Hi! Hi, Kelly. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, no, it's so exciting. Meet Nico, first of all. Hi. Hi, Nico. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's great. This is, this is super. Nice to meet you. Oh, I love you. You're so sweet. So, John, what inspired you to, to switch over and, and, and uh, you know, paint essential workers? Well, uh, this is actually a spinoff of something I did in 2017. We had wildfires that, uh, that came through California and, and uh, actually... Uh, did a, a terrible job on, on Santa Rosa. But uh, I did portraits of the emergency crews and the community leaders who guided us through that, uh, that terrible tragedy. And I, you know, I have to show you, I, uh, uh, the, the, this pin is like my go-to pin. It's a Pilot Precise V5. It's uh, the pin that I use all the time when I'm sketching. Um, but when the pandemic uh, hit, I, um, uh, I'm 73 years old, and uh, I had to shelter in place. Um, uh, they put me, at, you know, in a vulnerable category, and so I, um, I was at a loss for how to support the essential workers who made it possible for us to, to stay safe and to keep the world moving. So I started making a, a, a new round of portraits, and if someone came to my house and, and mowed the lawn, uh, or they delivered something, I'd take their picture and then I'd paint it. And then I'd see um, pictures of uh, nurses that were on social media. They were uh, sharing uh, photos of themselves wearing all of their uh, their protective gear. And um, I, I felt like that was really important. And so I, I started working on their portraits. So far, I've done probably more than 60 of those paintings. That's a, that's such a beautiful thing that you're doing for people. So, well, um, essential workers, especially those in the medical field, um, stepped up for your family. You were saying that you've not only had friends, family, but also friends, right? You've yeah, it's people? it's been you know we really would you know we were everything to them. You know, people in my family also work in the medical field, mm -hmm. so they've just been affected by it uh, this entire time. And and I don't know, people, my mom works at a you know at retail at a big box store, so she's also gone through this this entire rigmarole it's uh we really owe our our, we, our lives couldn't continue without without these people so they really yeah. i mean I, I commend you for for what you're doing it's just a small memento just to show how, how much you care and thank them yeah it's such a beautiful thing and also because not really everybody gets their portrait done like that you know what i'm yeah. saying not like everybody i mean not where i'm from i'm i'm from a very poor area so like nobody nobody got that kind of thing done but um, sometimes it takes a while for a portrait to get to one of John's subjects. So, John, can you tell us about the portrait you did of a nurse named Haley? Yes, that's um, so. Before the pandemic even started, just before, I uh, tripped and broke my hand. I tripped, fell down, and broke my painting hand, bones in my painting hand. So that's kind of how I started this whole project. But I, I ended up in the emergency room, and while the nurse was putting my arm in a cast, I told her, you know, I've been uh, uh, painting frontline workers and, and uh, these people that were involved with the, the wildfires. And um, so I showed her some of the pictures on my phone, and I said, you know, I, I'd love to paint a portrait of you to say thank you for helping me. And she said, yes. So. I took her photo with my phone, and then once my hand was healed, I uh, I painted her, but I I, uh, I never got a chance to uh, to show her because uh, I've been kind of scared to go to uh, the hospital with everything being on lockdown because of COVID. And but she really she really uh, inspired me to do more nurse pictures uh, during the pandemic. She was the first, but you know nur nurses are all just so amazing. They, they don't get nearly the recognition they, they deserve. Absolutely, I, I agree. Um, well, I'm happy to say that we actually have this nurse in our virtual waiting room. So everybody say hi to Haley. What's up? <laughs> oh, you're so, my hand is good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Aww. 
<laughs> so Haley, you inspired John to keep painting portraits like these during the pandemic. So how does that make you feel? You know, I, I'm truly flattered and, and humbled by it. Uh, as John said, I, I met him a long time ago during our wildfire season. Um, and that's how he kind of got started. So it's no surprise to me that he's continued on uh, through the pandemic. You know, I love what I do and I'm, I'm honored and, and privileged to be able to take care of people. You have John here and who, who shows appreciation and recognizes what you're doing. Um, and that's really what makes it all worth it. Um, you know, John is why, why we show up. Yeah, we really all do owe y'all everything. So, so thank you so much. And, and, and Haley, I have to say, John has finished your painting. So are you ready to see it? <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! That's amazing! Yes. Thank you! Oh my, god. oh my gosh! That's actually amazing! Wow, I wish I could paint! Oh my god! Well, hey John, before before we go, um, we told Pilot Pin, uh, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson show, like that Pilot was your go-to pin as well. Pilot Pin knows how powerful putting pen to paper can be, as demonstrated by your incredible sketches. So they're sending you a giant Pilot gift basket with your favorite precise pens as a thank you for your generosity and commitment to essential workers, all right? Oh, oh thank you so much. Absolutely. You <laughs> That's should th amazing. You should be good for a while with these. So <laughs> oh, thank you. And thank you so much, Haley. We really do uh, appreciate everything you're doing and you're continuing to do. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.